Welcome to PPMA TV with Mark and Imaj. Um, we're so happy to have be here with Andy. Hello, Andy. Andy from Pharma Machinery. Andy, talk me through what you guys do here at PPMA. Yeah, well, we're an agency business, so we represent overseas manufacturers of uh, packaging machinery, mainly packaging and process. As the name suggests, mainly in the pharma sector, but we also do a lot in the uh, food, food sector as well. So we do a range of machines uh, from um, single dose stick pack machines to automated complete packaging lines, cartoning, blister packing, a case packing to palletizing. So we offer a range of, uh, range of equipment. So what you do can be transferred to several different industries then really. Does, yeah. does it just become adaption? It does, yeah. For example, we have a stick pack machine on the stand. So you can see from the range of samples that we've got here, there's a lot in the food sector, sachets for um, food products, uh, sauces, and uh, cold relief flu, single sticks. Wow. Uh, and then we also do blister packs for uh, contact lenses, syringes. Uh, so the machine here, if you want to... I was going to say, let me, let me have a little look at the machine. I love the fact... By the way, if I can take the chicken stock home, that would be lovely. Yeah, you get that. <laughs> we'll get that for you. Let's have a little look. So this is the machine... This is the machine that does yeah. all the work. So this is from Omeg. So Omeg are an Italian manufacturer of stick machines. Uh, so this is a single layer machine. We've brought a small machine for the show. But they also do full uh, multi-lane high-speed machines, which then feed into automated cartoners and um, case packers, end of line. It's a huge bit of kit as well, isn't it? I want to, I want to take you this way because you've got a lot on this stand. Um, yeah. Are we going to take you around to the screen as well? Because I'd love to know what's going on here. We have a tablet press. So, oh. so Remarco is probably our, our main agent. So Remarco are a big brand in the pharma sector. So they do complete lines from tableting right through to blister packing, cartoning. So this is a small scale tablet press, which we're just demo, demoing here. What we've got on this back wall here is a uh, vaccine line. So obviously quite topical at the minute. I was going to say vaccine lines are, are, are very much a talkable thing, at the, yeah. as you say. So what, 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 what can we see on this screen? What can you talk me through? Well, on the screen here, we've, we're showing a, an intermittent uh, motion cartner. So the uh, uh, vials are coming from a, a filling line. So Remar could do the automated filling which is then fed to uh, the packing sector. So what we're showing here on the, on the video is uh, the, the vials being taken. We have an insert which is pulled down and then uh, the vials are then robot robotically placed into the, uh, into the carton. Like you say, it's very topical at the moment. I mean, obviously we were looking for things like this to be delivered incredibly quickly, which means the pressure was on for people like you guys to come up with that technology to make yeah, it as efficient right. and as fast as possible. Did you have to come up with new ways of doing that? Yeah, well, well Remarkov now, they've got a line together which they can, uh, a complete vaccine line, which they can put in within eight months, which is, wow. which for uh, typical packaging lines of this nature, can be up to 18 month lead time so for eight months from start to finish it's pretty good actually so is that technology that you guys obviously because of covid and, and because of the necessity for this did you guys have to find new ways of doing that because obviously that's a that's a big drop 18 months drop down to that time time period is fast more efficient and being more you know proactive in getting the the right equipment and and trying to get it standardized so that it can be you know uh, built in a, in a short short time frame so yeah I was going to say, do you see that this is going to get even quicker over time as technology changes? Because, I mean, you know, how much has changed in the last sort of two years since the, you guys were last here? Well, it's it, the, the whole our concept way of selling has changed. Obviously, without travel, we're not able to, to travel. So it's uh, endless team calls, as, as everybody's been doing for the last 18 months. So it's the first time we've been able to come to a show like this, which has been good. And I think the turnout has been uh, quite good so far considering the fuel crisis that we're all... <laughs> They're throwing things at us, aren't they, to yeah, stop us all meeting each other, aren't they? But one thing I was going to say is, like here, here at PPMA, one of the things that's most excitable is the fact that people do get to see each other. It, like you say, meeting people and explaining what you can do for them is so different in person than it is on a, on a Zoom call, right? It is, yeah, yeah, it is. It is, yeah. Face-to-face -face meetings, which are, are important. You can do so much on Teams and emails, but... You know, yeah, you have to get in front of people to, to try and get the deal done. It's so exciting what you guys are doing, though, and I think more now than ever, we're really appreciating how important this machinery is, and I can't wait to see where it is next year. Okay, great. Great to see you. Thanks so much, buddy. Cheers. Thanks. Thank Bye.